The Simpsons, the good, the Bart and the Loki sounded brilliant. And the animation for this is a lot of fun, but I have to say the pacing is terrible. It's really quite appalling. And I think part of that is because it's just too short for them to actually do anything with. So I wish it had been longer and they'd actually spent more care with exploring the narrative or pacing it a little bit better. Because it's got the foundations of something very fun and very interesting. But it seems to just rush through things and visually... We have snapshots of interesting characters or interesting bits of animation. But in terms of enjoying it as a concept, as a narrative, it's really, really underdeveloped. This was released in 2021, directed by David Silverman, who I have to say usually does absolutely fantastic work. So I don't know if there were budget issues or they were under a severe time constraint, because usually the shorts, the other shorts, are actually quite well developed. But this one I feel like they tried to pack in too much and as such we get only tiny snapshots of everything and it's not enough time for us to enjoy things. But in this one Loki is once again banished from Asgard and he is sent to Springfield and he ends up in the backyard of the Simpsons house where of course he meets Bart and the family and he does this thing where he makes more pork chops and Homer basically adores him from straight away. And Bart finds a bit of a kindred spirit in Loki as they try to fight against, primarily, Lisa, the titular good character. And I won't spoil it too much, but there is an element between Lisa and Thor's hammer that I thought gave us quite a beautiful piece of animation. And for Lisa's character, a really interesting moment where... She says something along the lines of goodbye self-esteem issues or something like that. I can't remember completely. But after that fact, it kind of leads thing, leave, it leaves things up to your interpretation. And I wish that it had just been double the length and explored that a little bit more. And what could have happened as a result of what did happen, which I won't spoil. So it's a really fascinating concept that I thought was a lot of fun. I love the crossovers they do with The Simpsons, particularly as we get to see characters we know and love in in new ways. Ralph is brilliant. There is a fantastic scene with Ralph that I thought was sensational. We have Patty and Selma dressed up as Marvel characters, um, Milhouse. All, all of the kind of famous Simpsons characters do appear as various different Marvel characters beings and I think that's fantastic and visually it is really compelling it's visually very delightful but the narrative is kind of like they've written the tagline but have left it at that and haven't given us the actual meat of the story and I feel like I'm left hanging maybe they were putting their feelers out maybe they were seeing how people would react to a Simpsons Marvel crossover with the hope of one day doing something bigger and better and I Certainly hope that that's the case. I will also point out Tom Hiddleston does voice Loki in this, which is just a, you know, a bit of a, I was going to say a cherry on the icing on the cake. But I don't think this is the icing on the cake because it's not fully developed. It's not as good as it could be. It's more like the jam in the middle of the cake, which I don't actually like that much. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the visual aspect of it and I enjoyed the concept. I feel like the execution was quite poor. They definitely could have done a lot more with it, but I do, you know, I am aware that there may have been budget issues. Maybe they planned to make something bigger and better or there were time constraints and if they didn't meet a deadline, I don't know, sponsors would pull money from them. I don't know. There could have been reasons. I feel like they probably wanted it to be bigger and better. You know, even for a short, just double the length, they could have done a lot more with it. But visually, I thought it was good. It's a good starting point. I hope they do more like it, but just more developed.